The aerospace industry has come up with some goals that it would like to meet by uh, 2020, they're referred to as the Akari goals, in terms of making new aircraft more efficient um, and more comfortable for passengers and quieter so that the environment for people around airports is better. Part of the European response for that has been a, a very large project which is called the Clean Sky Joint Technology Initiative uh, and this is investing 1.6 billion euros over the next seven years in, to try and address a lot of the issues with aircraft. Uh, there are actually four different sources of power on the aircraft. All that power comes from the engine, mechanical power, hydraulic power and as pneumatic hot compressed air as well as a, um, having a small electrical generator to generate the electrical energy. Having four different sources of power going around your aircraft is adding to the weight of the aircraft, adds to the complexity. So one of the moves uh, is to actually try and make the aircraft more electric so that we actually only take one source of power from the engine for all the things that aren't just making the aircraft move forward through the, through the air. We're working a lot of, uh, in a, a lot of different areas in, in terms of the electrical system, but one of the areas we're very well known for is our work on power converters and power electronics. The converter's job is to take the electrical energy that is distributed around the aircraft directly from the generators and to control the loads. So, uh, for example, if you have uh, an aircraft actuator controlling one of the surfaces on the wing of the aircraft, you need to move a motor to accurately control exactly the where the position of that surface is so the pilot can control the aircraft. Uh, we're looking at improving the weight and the volume of equipment as well as the reliability um, and the efficiency. Uh, and this is an example of, of a power converter where the existing equipment is large and heavy and takes up space on the aircraft. And we're looking at the new technologies that we've been developing through PhD projects and through other research projects funded by the EPSRC and so on. The university has identified that it, it has a number of technology areas where researchers are working in aerospace and the university is trying to, is bringing that together so that we, we all talk to each other, we, we all know what we're doing uh, and also so that from the outside world um, people can see the fact that the university has a, a research portfolio in aerospace of something like 35 to 40 million uh, pounds. So it's a big research area for the university um, and un until recently it's not, it's not been seen a as a single research area. The, that research has been carried out in different departments, different schools, different faculties around the university uh, and hasn't been joined up in any way. So it's part, part of joining that up, investing in that area uh, and growing our um, already uh, high profile research for that application area.